Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all real quick how you can pretty easily update your gold hen or whichever payload you're using for a jailbreak on your PlayStation 4 if you're using the BDJB implementation. Now, I'm going to be using gold hen here because that's what most people are going to be using on their PlayStation 4s, and this is not applicable to a single update. If there's any type of gold hen update like this in the future, you can update the same way. Alternatively, I know that there's also people who do choose to use PS4 HIN or PS4 HIN Vortex just because some people might prefer less features on here, maybe a little more stability if they have some issues with Gold HIN. On top of that, this is open source compared to Gold HIN. So if you're going to be using something such as PS4 HIN, then the steps here are going to be the same. It's just going to be a different file that you're going to download. Either way, I'm at my jailbroken PS4 right here. I'm going to show you which exact version I'm on. So if I come over to settings, I can go over to system, check out system information. And you can see here, I'm currently running 2.4 beta 18.5. So we're going to work on getting this updated to a higher version. Now the official place to get the latest gold hen is going to be from Sistro themselves. So I'm going to have their coffee page linked down below in the description of this video. If you have not done this before, you can proceed to go over to the shop page and you can look for the latest beta available. You can see right here, the latest one is just one step above, which is 2.4 B 18.6. This is the one I'm going to update to right now. In order to update, you can just go ahead, click on this, and then go ahead and grab the download. You can always check the change log to see the new features that are here, so you can determine if you really want to update or not, or if there's anything that's going to be helpful for your specific system. However, if you also appreciate the work Sistro does, you can always donate on this page. Otherwise, if you're just wanting to get the download, you can hit zero and continue on to the download itself. It is going to download as a 7-zip file, so if you're having trouble extracting this, you can go ahead and download and install 7-zip in order to get that sorted. Once you have the latest gold hen downloaded, just go ahead, right-click it, and use 7-zip or something else to extract it into its own folder. Once extracted, you can open up the folder, and once you're in here, you're going to look for the goldhen.bin file. Now go ahead, right click and copy this out. The easiest way in my opinion is going to be to use a USB drive here. So if you're using a USB drive, make sure it's formatted to either FAT32 or XFAT. Either one's going to work. Once you close out of here, you can go into your USB drive and right click and paste it to the root. Now, if you already have a payload.bin file, we're going to delete that because that's going to be the old one. You want to take your goldhen.bin and you're going to right click and rename it to payload. So it must be payload.bin. And if you want to make sure you're naming this correctly, at least on Windows, you can click on view, show, and enable file name extensions. And if it looks like payload.bin, that's exactly what we need. Once that's all sorted out, you can eject your USB drive and now take it over to the PS4. Due to how BDJB works, we can actually use the jailbreak itself to update Goldhen. In order to do this though, we will have to disable the jailbreak and then re-enable it. So if you have the jailbreak already running, what you'll need to do is go ahead, come over, and restart your PS4. Now once your PS4 is no longer actively running a jailbreak, so you are not running Goldhen, what you can do is pop in your BDJB disk, also take that USB drive, plug it into your PS4, and once you have that sorted out, go ahead and run BDJB. Let it go through the process here. So it's going to go through the standard jailbreak, of course. There is the AIO patch applied. And as long as you have that USB drive plugged in, it was able to execute the payload from the USB drive. It's now transferred it to the internal drive itself. And now it's going to boot up, there we go, the latest gold hen available, or PS4 hen if you're going to be choosing that. Once we have all the notifications completed here, after that, we can go ahead and close out of BDJB. With that completed, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Blu-ray player itself, but that's really all there is to it. Now, at this point, you don't have to have your USB drive connected, so you can now disconnect your USB drive, and for any future updates, if you're wanting to update your payload itself, that's exactly how you do it. You just put it on that USB drive, rerun the jailbreak process, and it will copy to the internal drive. Either way, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.